It's a new day and it's a new car. Well, not exactly a new car per se, but a new engine option on one of the most popular cars available in India. It's the Honda City with that long, 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 long overdue hybrid powertrain setup on the petrol engine option. So Honda City E-H-E-V, that's what they're calling it. The Honda City Hybrid is what we'll call it for, well, ease of calling it that. Uh, let me first start off with the specs. Now, sadly, while Honda has unveiled the car, we did think that there'd be a price announcement today too, but there hasn't been one. The price announcement will be later in May and bookings have opened for the hybrid, but again, price and launch will be much later in sometime in the first week of May because we are driving it in the last week of April. So stay tuned for a video on this YouTube channel soon for that as well. But let's start off with the specs. Now, obviously it is a hybrid and it is a conventional hybrid, so it's not a plug-in hybrid, so you don't need to go find a charger when you want to charge off the electric batteries. The electric batteries actually get charged with the engine when the car is on the move. So a conventional Atkinson cycle hybrid, as it is called, similar to what you get on the likes of the Lexuses and of course on the likes of the Camry in India as well. Now, uh, let's talk about specs. The hybrid Honda City gets the 1.5 liter engine which is the same engine that you get on the standard car. It's been slightly detuned and it gets an electric power pack in the back and an electric motor. Now, actually, there are two electric motors. One actually powers the wheels for the hybrid setup and the other is more of a mild hybrid motor like you get on some of the mild hybrid cars, like the start-stop system cars. So, a total combined horsepower output of 126 horsepower and a total combined torque output of 253 newton meters of torque. Now, this makes it the most powerful Honda City to ever come to India. It's about um, a few horsepower more than the standard petrol, but over 100 more torques than the standard petrol powered Honda City and 53 more torques than the diesel Honda City, which is pretty talky by itself. 26.5 kilometers per liter. I mean, you actually compare it to other cars, it is really, really high up. Uh, it's just 0.18 or 0.2 of the Celerio, which is the most fuel economical, the most fuel efficient car in India. So this is pretty, pretty high up there. So on a full tank, if you do drive very, very well, sensibly, you will get an enormous, enormous range from that engine option. Over 120 kilometers per hour, which inc incidentally isn't even legal in India. Over 120, everything works together. So the engine uh, is powering the wheels, the battery is powering the wheels through the electric motor. And under 40, you can actually run it on pure EV. You don't need to have the engine on at all. If it's a very, very light foot, it will do a very limited range, but it will run on pure EV. Now, it also has regenerative braking, which of course means that as you lift off the brakes or as you press the brakes, the brakes itself can charge the battery up itself. And the paddle shifters on the wheel actually control the amount of regenerative braking you can have. Uh, obviously, this is a CVT gearbox. It's not a manual because that just wouldn't work. Hybrid with an automatic just works better. And it has a couple of changes on the exterior as well. Now, we expected the RS trim to come in for the Honda City Hybrid. That hasn't happened. What you do get is the ZX or the top of the line spec only. And it's just one variant which the Honda City Hybrid will get. Honestly, there aren't a lot of changes, but the fog lamp cluster on the bottom is slightly different. So you get a little bit of veins there so you can make out from the front end that it's different. The rear bumper has a little bit of a diffuser treatment given to it. And there is a very, very small boot spoiler as well. And that's about it. Of course, you do have that big differentiator, which is the blue glow. It's not a real glow, but like a blue logo glow around the Honda badges as well. Now, apart from all this tech that the Honda City Hybrid does pack in, you also get something that is first in class, which of course is ADAS. So you get collision mitigation braking, you get road departure mitigation, you get lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control and auto high beam. And it also gets six airbags as standard. So it is pretty much a very, very safe package for you and your family. Now, what does this actually go up against? Honda has taken the conscious decision to launch the hybrid tech in India as a sort of future ready or future technology as compared to going turbo VTEC. Now, the other manufacturers haven't done that. You have turbo engines, small turbo engines from Hyundai, and you of course have the one liter turbo TSI Evo and the 1.5 liter turbo ESI, TSI Evo engines from the VW Group and from Skoda. Well, VW and Skoda, the VW Group in general. 
So this actually, the, the standard Honda City goes up against the one litre Slavia and the upcoming Virtus. This will go up against the more powerful one. Yes, it is down on power, but it is sort of almost equivalent on torque. And it will actually compete against those higher output engines from VW and from Skoda. It'll be interesting to see how the two actually compare on the street, on the road when we actually get to drive it. But obviously this will be a lot, a lot more fuel efficient as compared to what the turbo uh, 1.5 engines will ever be, even with a light foot. Now at 120 rupees a litre or more than 120 rupees a litre, especially here in Maharashtra, fuel economy is a good thing. That said, as I mentioned, no prices yet, but stay tuned. We will bring you a whole bunch of updates on our social media when the prices are launched. And of course, direct comparisons with the likes of the competitive cars, the competitive sedans, the Verna, Slavia, and of course, the uh, Virtus when we drive it. And we will do a bit of a comparison between the normal city, petrol and diesel, and this soon as well. So stay tuned for all of those. For now, signing off. This is a quick little video on the Honda City Hybrid. Tell me what you think of it and if you would buy one over the turbo German and, slow, and uh, Czech cars or if you just have a diesel Honda City instead, which of course is also extremely fuel efficient. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe, comments in the comment section below and we will see you soon.